Hi, I'm Mike Sorrentino and I'm the coordinator for Hudson Music's Teacher Integration Program. The goal of the program is to further and enhance drum instruction by incorporating all of the different types of new media available to us. DVDs, the internet, MP3s, such and such. Membership in the program is free and you can join by going to the Hudson Music website at www.hudsonmusic.com. New members will receive a welcome package which will include a certificate of membership, a newly designed lesson planner specially for TIP members, and other bonus materials. Once you join, you'll have access to our interactive forums, articles from our internationally renowned advisory board, and you'll also be able to download the cornerstone of our project, the Teacher's Guides. The Teacher's Guides are multiple page PDFs that can easily be downloaded by visiting the TIP section of the Hudson website. There are five main sections in each Teacher's Guide. The keywords are where you can quickly find specific information and where it's contained on a DVD. The chapter summaries are simply that. They summarize each chapter of the DVD or book and point out the important information. The cross-reference chart shows how you can use the DVD with other books or teaching materials you may already be using. The related materials section lists other books and DVDs that you can use for further study of the topic. The suggested multimedia lessons is the place to go where you can see sample lesson plans on how to incorporate the DVD with your students and some other ways of having fun with it. Let's take a look at one lesson plan that I use with my student Derek from the band Push Play. Here we are watching Steve Smith's DVD, Drum Legacy, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. As a result of watching this DVD, Derek became interested in furthering his jazz drumming skills. One of the exercises we came up with was to play page 18 from John Riley's The Art of Bop Drumming book while using Groove 18 Slow from Groove Essentials by Tommy Igo as a musical bed or metronome. This gave the exercise a little bit more of a musical feel and helped Derek realize what it would feel like to play these snare patterns while playing along with the band. These suggested multimedia lessons are not supposed to be the end-all be-all of what you can do with the DVDs. Rather, they're intended to be a starting point to jumpstart your own creativity and have fun. The general suggestions for incorporating new media are simply that. They're general ideas. They're not specific to any book or DVD. Our interactive forums are the place to go to join in some discussions about how to set up your studio, different business practices, new technologies, gear, things of that sort. It's pretty much up to you. We're fortunate to live in a time where there's all of this new technology available, but navigating through it can at times be difficult. The benefits, however, to your student and to you as a teacher are immediate. So on behalf of myself, Rob Wallace, Paul Siegel, Joe Bergamini, and the rest of us at Hudson Music, thanks for stopping by and watching. Have fun with your drumming and good luck.